I say to myself, is this really there for declining community? Two shoals and one road. Uh, Rabbi Hyman is an outspoken London Rabbi. He's Belfast born. He loves challenges and was involved in the fundraising cycle length of Britain. So, welcome to Jewish Online Magazine, Robert Hyman. Good morning and thank you very much. I'm heading for my 60th in February. I'm oh, not at all. Yeah, Kanana Hara. <laughs> and um, I set myself a goal a few years ago um, because uh, after I gave up my gardening business, which I'd done for 10 years, being a part-time rabbi at the time, well in Garden City, having taken a break from the rabbinate, I um, started to put on the weight, a few good holidays and plenty of restaurants, and I noticed this, the pounds <laughs> piling on. So I decided to go back to my old faithful fitness regime of cycling. And so I went out and I went back to my old dealers and bought a, a winter training bike and started in March quite a few years ago to cycle again. And with the view that for my 60th, I would do the Land's End of John O'Groats as I did when I was 40. And so that's what I'm planning. And um, that is one major challenge that I've been planning for quite a while. And I had to think of a project in terms of charity and so the last time I raised nearly 10,000 pounds 20 years ago. Uh, this time I'm looking to establish a charitable trust which would be called the Rabike Charitable Trust and it is there as support uh, as uh, to be able to give grants to young people who want to realize their potential. Mm -hmm. To found the charity I am um, refurbishing an old safer Torah from the United Synagogue. They have a whole lot of mm. old possible United Synagogue, possible super Torah mm. that need renovating. And I'm going to, the, some of the funds will be used to renovate a safer Torah. That safer Torah will be then uh, dedicated to the memory of 1.5 million children mm -hmm. who perished in the Holocaust and lost their potential. The world would have been a very different oh, place. That's, that's and, and the idea will be, through Tribe, who I'm working with on this project, this Sefer Torah, every Shabbos, will go to a different community oh, where the rabbi will be able to devote something towards the concept that it represents. Mm -hmm. And it may even further go travel oh, further that's, afield that's, that's... to uh, Europe. But this idea of a Sefer Torah dedicated to 1.5 million. I was going to raise money for a new Sefer Torah, and then I thought, no, mm -hmm. better use less funds, renovate a Sefer Torah, mm -hmm. and revive the old, and use more of the funds towards helping young people reach them. Um, this interview is taking place during uh, Holocaust Memorial Day um, and also Tu Bishvat as well. Yes, um, Shabbos, yeah. Is there um, something that perhaps you can tell our viewers that would combine uh, Holocaust Memorial Day and Tu Bishvat? Okay, you're putting me on there. And I'm putting you on the spot, Robert. Yeah, I'm putting me on the spot, <laughs> but yes, just as what I said about this concept of this Sefer Torah, rejuvenating something that is old in Paso and redoing it and making it fit for use again to be kosher. The concept of potential and um, when it comes to the Holocaust and remembering the Holocaust, one thinks of the devastation, the loss, the work that we've had to do over the 60 years plus in rebuilding what so perished, right? The yeshivot, the institutions, culture. Um, so you think about revival. Tu is about revival. Mm -hmm. 
Um, come to a period in the year, the winter's drab. I mean, look at it. It's drab. <laughs> All right, it's white with the snow, which is, which, which is delightful. But winter is drab. It's a time that almost reflects death of the earth. As an old gardener, so I'd do a lot of pruning in winter. You're getting rid of a lot of dead stuff, clearing um, the plots, the gardens. And when it comes to spring, and the buds start to swell, and leaves, leaves start to come out. Um, it's a concept of revival, mm. and therefore Tubishvat and the Holocaust, the Shoah, mm. they are an antidote. Mm.